What's up, Garden Gang? So today, uh, June 18th, Nintendo did a Nintendo Direct. Uh, I was at work at the time that it got released, so I was unable to watch it. Um, so this is obviously going to be my reaction to it. Uh, I don't have any information going in. I've avoided all social media all day. Um, so let's see what we got. Another Mario game? Of course they do something Mario related right off the bat. Ooh, a Mario and Luigi game. But I'm since I played one of those. Of course, Luigi fails the landing. Ooh, that looks kind of cool, the UFO thing. Outlet. Brothership? Oh, that's an interesting name. Number seventh. I might have to do a uh, Mario and Luigi Brothership Hello, everyone. series. I'm Shin Takahashi, out. and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. That was the first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series in almost nine years. Mario yeah, and Luigi Dream Team. Brothership. Please look forward to a seafaring adventure that unfolds across mysterious islands, as well as evolved bros moves with Mario and Luigi. Okay, let's see the first batch of headlines. Bring the championships home or on the go. The thrill of the Nintendo World Championships is heading to the Nintendo Switch system. Take on over 150 speed-running challenges from across 13 NES games, from lightning-fast beats to action-packed battles. So they have an actual speed-running... Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. Then give it your best shot and aim for the top of the online leaderboards. You can also try more difficult legend challenges. Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. Stuck on a legend challenge? Check out classified information for handy tips and tricks to help you improve. Put your skills to the test in survival mode, where you'll race against ghost data of players worldwide. After each round, half of the players will be eliminated. You've only got one shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? Nintendo World Championships NES Edition launches on Nintendo pass on Switch that one. July 18th. Pre-orders for the digital version are available now on Nintendo eShop. A deluxe set containing a physical version of the game and other bonus items is also available for pre-order. The final battle of Fairy Tale is about Ooh, to begin. Fairy Tale. Happy. 
relive the climactic Alvarez Empire arc from the hit anime fairy tale in this action RPG. Oh, it's a sequel game. I haven't played the original game. Team Natsu prepares to finish their fight. Engage in real time. I should probably play Fairy Tale at first before I play Fairy Tale 2. Different kinds of magic based on who's in your party. Work together with your teammates to take down powerful enemies. Fairy Tale 2 launches on Nintendo Switch. Technologia. Dude, I love watching that anime. Embark on a multi-dimensional journey. From Final Fantasy series creator Hironobu Sakaguchi and composer Nobuo Uematsu comes the turn-based RPG Fantasian. The world is slowly being robbed of its civilization. To restore his memories, Leo must confront an evil entity threatening all mankind. Skills are the ticket to winning battles. Adjust a skill's trajectory to target multiple enemies at once. You can also send enemies you've been encountered. This blade looks a, a lot like a Xenoblade. Fight them later. Oops. The more enemies there are, the more you can wipe out in one shot. Let them go! Now. Let us save the world together. Fantasian Neo Dimension launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. That one actually looks kind of interesting. Another sport is coming to Spoko Square. Basketball is being added as a free update to the Nintendo Switch sports game. Dribble, pass, and shoot in two-on-two -two matches using motion controls. Yeah, I think I'll stick to Wii Sports. Try out three-point challenge solo and score as many baskets as you can within the time limit. Up to four players can also compete in five-streak battle. Besides local play, you can team up with players worldwide in two-on-two -two online matches. This free update for Nintendo Switch Sports dunks its way onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Yeah, because that's what people want to do is be active while it's hot. Interesting art style. I see this more from like indie games. Which I don't play a lot of. It's an array of cartoon classics. Leap into a new update for Disney Illusion Island. Monoth's greatest detective is solving a mystery, and only Mickey and friends can help. In the brand new adventure, Mystery and Monoth, uncover hints and evidence scattered throughout the world, then use the dashboard to crack each case. What big secret lies at the end? Start sleuthing, because this free update launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Island adventures await. My Customize sister used to be obsessed character. with Hello Kitty back in the day. I wonder if she would like then that. Then befriend Hello Kitty, Karomi, and other familiar faces in this open world adventure. 
team up with your new pals to solve mysteries and restore Friendship Island when Hello Kitty Island Adventure launches as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system next year. Let's get loony in this wacky sports game. Play as Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, and more across four arcade-style sports. When it first showed the, the basketball jersey, I was like, oh, Space Jam. But watch out for falling anvils. Looney Tunes' wacky world of sports crashes onto Nintendo Switch this fall. What's up, Doug? That's all, folks. Let's see if game on. Emergency meeting. New crewmate and imposter roles are being added to Among Us. Alert others when eliminated as a noisemaker. Plant tracking devices on others as a tracker. Or turn invisible while taking out players as a phantom. Suss things out when this free update for Among Us sneaks onto Nintendo Switch later today. I still need to do updates on that game. I haven't touched a that in a long time. Monster Army is at your command. This is Felicidad, a realm of monsters. Those who command and raise them are called Farmagia. I heard and play Felice, a vital like, the they, they said Felicidad, and I thought Felice Ten, Navidad. Magia must rise up against the oppressive Magus to stop his vicious reign of the underworld. If they don't release this game around Christmas... And lead them into the fight against the Magus's army. Plant seeds, then cultivate, and harvest them to make your buddies come to life. They can then be trained for battle. Interesting. Give commands to your monsters and exploit enemy weaknesses in action packed combat. Merge all of the battle buddies in your party to call forth a giant fusion summon and wreak havoc on your foes. Join the rebellion to stop the Magus in Farmagia, launching on Nintendo Switch November 1st. Ooh, <gasps> Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong Country Returns, originally released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch in HD. The villain oh, okay, so has Dylan probably isn't wildlife. as happy as that, Donkey but... Kong's precious banana horde. Dylan probably wasn't like too excited, but he Pops probably was happy that at least it's got him. something. Pound him. And roll on through. Each level is filled with hijinks, but they're no match for these top bananas. From manic mine carts. To high flying rocket barrels. And even hitching a ride on Rambi. There are plenty of transportation methods available. Pass a Joy Con controller to a buddy for two player local co op. 80 appealing levels are in store, including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS version. Donkey Kong Country Returns HD swings onto the Nintendo Switch system January 16th. That's cool. At least Donkey Kong yeah, finally got something for the Switch. What Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's Jungle Escapades returns in HD. Although, it would have been a lot cooler if it was a brand new Donkey Kong game, but... Next, please take a look at this. Name is Nye. Oh, okay. I think I know what this is. I think it's like Dragon. Yeah, Dragon Quest. I knew it was Dragon something. Journey with allies to face the Arch Fiend on an epic adventure. 
memorable encounters, perplexing challenges, and formidable monsters await. An iconic RPG remade in HD2D. Forge your own path. The Dragon Quest was something I kind of always wanted to play. The I might actually give it a try. Begins. Should Dragon I start with Dragon Quest, Quest 3? HD or should I try to find like Dragon Quest, Quest 1 and 2 first? Coming to Nintendo Switch, November 14th. I guess I got time to figure that out. What? <laughs> so they're releasing all three. Nintendo Direct, こんにちは、ホリーユージです。ドラゴンクエスト3の映像いかがでしたか予約発売日を発表できて、僕も嬉しく思います。そして今日サプライズで発表したドラゴンクエスト1&2も80D2Dで読み上げることが決定しました。時
Metal Slug Attack Reloaded storms onto the Nintendo Switch system later today. I think I'll pass on that one. That one doesn't look that Embarked interesting. On an expedition of the dam in this eagerly awaited sequel to the gothic roguelike RPG. Board your stagecoach and I still haven't played any roguelikes yet. I need I want to play Poker Rogue though. Fight off nightmarish fiends in turn based combat. Just so I can get a feel for what roguelikes actually are. After each deadly run. Maybe I might have played roguelikes in the past and I just don't realize it. Switch, July 15th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. More classic titles are on the way. Ooh. Play Link's classic 16-bit adventure and team up online to explore randomized dungeons in The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past Four Swords. Experience that one's the remake interesting. of Samus's first adventure in Metroid Zero Mission. Plus, wait, did it say that the Legend Nintendo of Zelda 64, was Nintendo Switch randomized? Online, mature 17 plus collection of games. Brave the dangerous lost land to stop the campaigner's nefarious schemes in Turok Dinosaur Hunter. And. Infiltrate a corporation to end their alien conspiracy in Perfect Dark, now with online multiplayer. All four games will be available for Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members later today. Set sail to save the day. This is Verona, a young woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. I will take all of this girl. Join her on a journey to save her friend Ash. In this new installment in the Phantom Brave series. Take on tactical turn-based battles where you'll combine the phantoms you've befriended with objects in various ways. Combine phantoms with certain objects to maneuver them. Combine with a cannon to attack a large area. A fan to blow enemies around. Or Combine with Morona herself for show-stopping abilities that can turn the tide of battle. Phantom Interesting. Brain, the Lost Hero launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Next year? Okay, so I got a year to wait for that one. That one looks kind of cool. This one's gonna take you for a ride. Street Fighter! Seven arcade games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch as one collection. Clash in X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Duke it out in Marvel vs. Capcom 2 New Age of Heroes. Take down the Kingpin in the beat-em-up side scroller The Punisher and more. Hit up training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. Select online mode to challenge rivals around the world. Or play co-op in The Punisher. You can also cross over to the museum to view artwork or listen to music from each game. I wanna take for a ride. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Oh, that would be cool. I'm not a big fan of that song. Ooh! The latest game in the Mario I saw the star and I thought Kirby until uh, Magic Koopa or comic whatever you want to jump follow. into the biggest selection of Mario game Party mini games yet in Super Mario Party Jamboree This is what the First, third Mario Party to appear on the Switch you compete to collect the most stars Take the escalators to travel between floors in Rainbow Galleria Use in-game coins to get a star at half price when they're on flash sale but act fast. 
Ride around and stay on track in Rollum Raceway. With the new Turbo Dice Item, you can move up to 40 spaces with a lucky roll. Here on Goomba Lagoon, the ebb and flow of the tide can change your path. And things really get mixed up when the volcano blows its top. Along with five new game boards, two boards from previous Mario Party games make their return. Some mini games are action packed challenges, speed trials, a battle of wits, and more. And some are controlled by gently shaking or tilting your Joy Con controllers. With over 110 mini games, there's a wide variety to enjoy. Also, up to 20 players can go head to head online in the Coupathlon mode. Compete against your rivals and aim for first place. Try your best to come out on top. Wait, there are even more new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway when the Super Mario Party Jamboree game launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. Interesting. That was the latest installment in the Mario Party series. Super Mario Party Jamboree, with new boards, mini games, 20 player online gameplay and more, get ready for the biggest Mario Party in series history. And now, please take a look at this. I was gonna try to wait till after I recorded this to eat, but I am hungry and this is gonna take a bit longer. Hmm. It's an older Zelda. one where you actually play as Princess Zelda? Hello everyone. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Mm. Here, we wanted to create She's a, a mage. gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. She's a mage. To explain more, please take a look at this video. Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people, including Link. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri-Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. By waving the Tri-Rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an Echo. Once you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Just like that. You can create wooden boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. Even battles will look different. 
you could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. After doing so, they'll fight by your side. Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key, after all. Uh, ha, ha, ha. She has a triforce of, triforce of wisdom. In a Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. How was that? I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of Echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change definitely depending be playing on that the game. used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom launches September 26th. A Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also be available at launch. Oh man, Switch Lite? We hope you're looking forward to playing oh, Zelda that. in this new adventure. Now, I'd like to return this moment I'd probably buy it just to have it. Away, but... Back to Mr. Takahashi. Thank you, Mr. Aonuma. Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. Let's see a few more headlines. Let loose and party on! Just dance. I'm gonna die my hair. I don't care the world is mine. You better listen up. You don't want to waste my time. I don't have any, I don't have any form of tempo when it comes to dancing, so don't expect me to play this one. Adventure is on the horizon. Hmm. Lego. It's the world of Horizon in Lego form. Join Machine Hunter Aloy on a quest to save the world from an ancient evil. Journey through lush landscapes. Dive deep into the cauldrons. Climb up onto tall necks and traverse other locations inspired by the original game. But be careful. Swarms of machines are lurking everywhere. Use an array of gadgets like blast boots and gravity bombs to hunt them down. From the nimble watchers to mighty sawtooths, you might even come across the fearsome Thunderjaw. As you progress, you can help Aloy rebuild her home and customize her appearance with lots of outfits. Oh, and you don't have to explore this vast wilderness alone. Team up with familiar faces from the world of Horizon in two-player local or online co-op. LEGO Horizon Adventures launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. A Stray's Journey begins. It looks like Puss. Puss and Boots. Wait, I've seen this clip before. It's the story of the cat that Experience fell. Experience a decaying cyber city through the eyes of a cat separated from their family and friends. Explore alongside a drone known as B-12 to find your way home. Carefully climb to the highest heights. Create new paths for yourself. And stealthily squeeze into tight spaces. Think like a cat to make your way through the city. 
careful though. Not everyone is excited to have you slinking around, including hordes of hostile creatures ready to swarm. Keep exploring to venture into more areas of this unfamiliar world and make your way back to safety. Stray finds its way onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Welcome home, Hobbit. Oh, a Lord of the Rings thing. If you've ever wanted to live like a Hobbit from the Lord of the Rings, Tales of the Shire, now, a leisurely existence nestled away in an idyllic, quiet corner of Middle Earth can be yours. Customize your appearance, decorate your home, and settle into life in the Shire. As a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater, you'll befriend your neighbors, work together to solve problems, and even share a meal or three. Explore, garden, fish, forage, and cook. The best way to build a Hobbit community is by hosting a dinner party with your homemade dishes. Plus, you can trade with your neighbors for unique decorations or special ingredients for even tastier meals. Friendly Hobbits and familiar faces await your arrival when Tales of the Shire launches on the Nintendo Switch system this holiday. Investigate, interrogate, checkmate. Phoenix, right? Objection! Oh! Phoenix Attorney spin off games, including a sequel that was previously unreleased outside of Japan, are coming to Nintendo Switch as one collection. As the prolific prosecutor Miles Edgeworth take the case out of the courtroom and investigate crime scenes, gather information by interviewing people and inspecting evidence. Then use the power of logic to solve challenging cases. Enjoy all new hand-drawn character visuals from the original series character designer or swap to the original sprites for a more classic look. Take a break from your investigation to explore the gallery where you'll find character art, music, including orchestral arrangements, and more. Past and present collide as you uncover the truth at any cost. Ace Attorney Investigations Collection launches on Nintendo Switch September 6th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Most as I came to that game was uh, Professor Layton and Phoenix Wright. Still a good game though. She looks familiar. Persona? Persona or Dank and Rafa? It looks like the art style from those two. After a devastating attack by unknown assailants, Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. A mysterious school mascot suddenly appears. While Takumi manages to get out of harm's way, he's then forced to enroll at the Last Defense Academy, along with 15 other students. <laughs> Their mission is to defend the school from hostile student enemies for 100 days. An academy shrouded in secrecy. And the unavoidable loss of allies. Yeah, this definitely gives like Danganronpa vibe. Trial, colored by extreme and despair, and return to his normal life. The creators of Danganronpa present the Hundred Line Last Defense Academy, launching on Nintendo Switch early next year. I might try that. I might try that. Embark on a saga spanning generations. A full remake of Romancing Saga 2 is marching on to Nintendo Switch. Rule and expand the empire of Varen across multiple generations while challenging the legendary seven heroes who have turned to darkness. In combat, use returning saga features like glimmers to learn skills and formations to enhance abilities. Turn-based battles have also evolved into timeline battles, where the action order is key. Innovative features like United Attack can also help with strategy. How will you expand your empire? 
And in which order will you fight the seven heroes? Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. Safeguard your empire's future and protect your legacy from peril. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. Romancing Saga 2 Revenge of the Seven launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. That one seems kind of interesting. We hope you're excited to experience the full remake of Romancing Saga 2. I've never even heard of That's Romancing Saga. That's everything for today's Nintendo Direct. Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Oh, final one? Cool. There's been a whole lot that's gotten me, like, real excited. Galactic Federation. Oh, this has got to be, like, a Buzz Lightyear thing. Oh, no, Samus. Metroid, okay. I see Galactic Federation and I think Toy Story, Buzz Lightyear. An FPS of Metroid. Although I'm, I'm sure I know they've made some, uh, some FPSs of Metroid in the past. I'll be honest, FPSs aren't really my thing unless you can do like melee attacks. Yeah, there hasn't been a whole lot that's gotten me like excited and crazy. Like, there's the new Zelda game. That that's something I'm looking forward to. Uh, what was it, the 100 yard defend or something like that? The one that was made by the Danganronpa uh, creator. That was a first look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. After and then there's a couple of other ones. Uh, the Mario and Luigi Brothership. About this title. Really? I think only like three games that kind of interest me from this. So please wait a little bit longer. We hope you're looking forward to Samus Aran's new adventure. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Yeah, like I was saying, there's not a whole lot that like fully interests me. Uh... The hundred line, that's what it was. Uh, the Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom, the hundred line. Uh, oh, Phantom Brave. And Dragon Quest. Yeah, so not a whole lot, um, but definitely some interesting things coming out soon. Can't wait to try some of these and uh, hopefully maybe do some streams of them. So until next time, take it easy, our game, and keep on growing.